Yes, this is a tutorial video on how to navigate the internet and get to the Smarter Balance practice test. First, when you open up your browser, make sure you go here and type in caaspp.org. Let me zoom in. caaspp.org. And once you do that, you press Enter. That's going to take you to the home page for the California Assessment of Student Performance and Progress. When you get here, you're going to the, uh, this section right here that says Practice and Training Tests. Click on that. That will take you to this page, which gives you three options. I want you to go to the third option that says Student Interface Practice and Training Test. Click on that. Once you click on that, it sends you to the sign-in page, but you don't have to worry about any of this information, so just to override that, you click sign in. When you get to this page, you do need to input your grade level so that you know, you know um, how to select which, which test and which to practice. So here you can either select 6th grade, 7th grade, or 8th grade. So I'm going to select 8th grade for, uh, for this purpose. Once I do that, it's going to give me uh, options. I have three options for ma mathematics and three options for English language arts. I'm going to focus right now on mathematics. We have a training test, a practice test, and a performance task. The one that we're looking at today is the practice test. I'm going to click on that. And once again, it gives you another page, which you don't have to worry about any of this information. Scroll all the way down, click select. And again, gives you another page with a lot of the information to see if it's true. You don't have to worry about any of that. Just go, yes, yeah, start my test. When you get to this last page before the getting started, you just click on begin test now. And once you get into your practice test, uh, the purpose of you going and taking the practice test so that you can get familiar with all the tools it gives you, uh, yes, and try to look at the format of some of the questions, but in itself, uh, browse through the entire screen so that you can see what kind of tools it gives you, such as zoom in, zoom out. You might get some other tools that pop up over here on the top right corner. There's also tools on the left side. Also, if you hover over things, you're going to see things highlighted like this one. If you click on that, it gives you some other tools. And then also, if you click over the information on questions, some words highlight, which means that if you click on it, it gives you definitions for those words. Okay? All right. I hope uh, this is a straightforward uh, tutorial. And once again, uh, enjoy your practice test and do your best. Have a good day.